you guys welcome back to my channel I did this get ready with me I did a talk through talking about 2016 what it means to me and of course I didn't place in there what I am expecting for 2017 so 2017 I'm expecting prosperity greatness encouragement I'm looking for more subscribers on my channel for my channel to grow for my career to go grow and so forth and so on I hope you guys have your goals for 2017 hope you enjoy your day as well all of the items that I use will be in the description box below as well as if you have any comments or questions or concerns please put them in the comment box below First, if you are not already a subscriber go ahead and click that subscribe button go ahead and click it and let's get with it thank you bye all right you guys so we're gonna do something a little different today I am going to do a talk through video get ready with me and I wanted to talk about 2016 2016 has been a very up and down roller coaster year for me. Um, a lot of things happened in the beginning of the year. For one, I moved over into a different area. I live in Georgia and I was living across town in Conyers, which I completely love and I miss because Conyers, not trying to be funny, was bonsai diggity freaking calm. It was quiet, the birds were chirping. The deer were lurking, and I didn't have to wake up to no craziness. But now that I live in the Atlanta city area, I live in the city now, it's like, yo, what? <laughs> I wake up to sirens every night. I hear gunshots all the time. It's like, yo, go to sleep. The sleep factor is not real. People don't go to sleep anymore. And it is like super uber annoying. Oh, by the way, I'm taking Oktoberfest and I'm placing this into my lid area. But like I said, this has been like an up and down year for me. Location, friends, jobs, networking, all of that jazz. It's just been good and bad. And at the beginning of the year, on February 5th, there was an incident that happened to me where I never thought that something like that would ever happen to me. And I was fired from my job over something that was not even of me. Um, I was accused of something that I had nothing to do with. And it was pretty humiliating and embarrassing. It was more like race, racial factor at the same time. I never thought that I had to deal with a racial situation where I was discriminated on. And it taught me a lesson. For one, it taught me how to trust God even more. My relationship with Christ has grown a lot this year because I had to do nothing but rely on him. And trust that he would lead me in the right direction on where he wants me to go. Separating me from people, separating me from situations that are no long that are not in my control. And a lot of things that people kind of get confused, especially when major situations happen to them, that you have to remember that it's happening for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Whether you believe it or not, everything is meant to be something, meant for something. Either it's meaning for you to help you grow or help you learn something new about yourself or being able to adapt to a whole new lifestyle. Um, that color that I did place on my inner lid was Paprika by Coastal Scents, by the way. Um, I'm then going to take this color, let's see, Love, from my Ulta Beauty Box. I am putting this thing to work lately. Um, if you notice my tutorials before this one, I did use this, I used this palette before. And she's coming through. Like, for real, for real. I'm looking for a brush. Anywho, that situation had taught me a whole lot, like a whole, whole lot about people, how far people can take me, <laughs> because baby, my patience level has grown to a whole nother level, and and it's crazy because you get exactly what you ask God for. I ask God for patience this year. Patience and wisdom. 
And he placed me in situations where I had to do nothing but be patient and have wisdom, and but use wisdom. And I'm not gonna lie, he probably tested me at least three times, but this last test was just enough for me to be like, okay, now look, something gotta give. And that right there was just, whew. God, you are amazing. Lord, you are amazing. Lord, you are truly amazing. It made me step back and be like, you know what, Lord? It's nothing that I can do. And I wasn't even going to try to do anything. And that's the point. Like, whenever you ask God to do something for you, don't try to do it yourself. Don't try to use him as the last resort. He was my first resort, period, point blank. He was my first call. He was like, the moment that the situation was happening to me, in that moment, in that present time, I just remember myself calling on his name instantly. It was like a reaction. It was like my spirit just knew exactly what to do. And, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to cry. I'm doing my makeup. I'm not supposed to cry. <laughs> God, you are amazing. Whew. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. <laughs> the power of God is amazing. And... I'm just so thankful that I know who he is. You know, a lot of people, oh man, I can't stop crying. <laughs> okay, 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 because I got to finish. Woo, all right. Oh gosh, that was deep. Okay, but like I was saying, the power of God is amazing. Like, I'm so thankful for so many people that were around me. Like, shout out to my neighbor who came through. She was there for me, A1. And y'all, this woman I just met last year when I first moved to Georgia. And she has been tremendously amazing with me. She's taught me a whole lot. She's invited me into her family, and I consider her family. Shout out to Brache. Like, straight up shout out to Brache. It was, if it wasn't for my mother as well, yo, my moms, I'm telling you, you guys, if you have parents, and if you do not have parents, and you have people who are like parents to you, cherish them, appreciate them, learn from them. They have so much wisdom in them. Because y'all don't get funky like they've been on this earth before us. Like get with it. So I just appreciate them for what they have done for me. Oh, I also just placed a little bit of that red clay. Um, I think that's called no, it's just called clay by Coastal Sense on my on my outer crease area. I'm also gonna place just a little bit of cocoa bear. And it as well, because I like my, my outer crease area to be a little bit darker than anything else. Because I wish I had a hood, so it gives me the illusion of a hooded eye. <laughs> That's a trick, by the way. I'm darkening up your outer crease area if you do not have hoods, just to give yourself a hooded look. Give you an idea of the illusion of a hood. Because my eyes are not that big. But they're a decent size. Enough for me to be able to do things with. But anyhow. But like I was saying. That situation had taught me a lot. Because it carried me throughout the whole entire year. But I say that to say. My relationship. My number one thing that I'm excited about for 2016. Is my relationship with Christ. I feel like that's just number one for me. Bump everything else. Like, seriously, bump everything else. Because if it wasn't for him, I couldn't do none of this. I wouldn't be content. I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't, like, if you know me, 
For those who really know me, I have an upbeat personality. I'm constantly happy. I'm constantly encouraging. I'm constantly like, ow. <laughs> Y'all better get with it. I'm just, I'm that person that comes up into the, comes up in work and is like, hey, hi you guys. How are you all? Because I feel like energy is really important. Your energy pays off for some people. And I try to allow my energy to be contagious because sometimes like people be going through certain things and they just need that boost. And I want to be that boost person. Let me give, let me be your boost. Let me be your hype man. You know what I'm saying? Allow me to be your hype man. Because sometimes it can get real out here and we don't know how to pick each other. We don't know. Some people don't know how to pick each other up. And some people just don't know how to get back up. And be, and they just need that little pet. And I want to be able to do that for you guys as well. I want to be able to be peppy. Be your hype man. Be your energy lover. As well as giving you some fun makeup ideas. Looks. So forth and so on. I'm probably just rambling on at this point, but I like to talk. So you gonna listen to me. You gonna listen to me. There go them sirens again. I don't know if y'all can hear them. Them sirens are super uber annoying. Like go somewhere with all that. Ooh, I'm always cleaning up my liner, especially over here. Not for me. Anywho, and I just used that gel liner by Elf, by the way. Oh, I forgot to grab my lashes. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Of course, I had to apply my lashes off camera because I was having a little bit of struggle with these. I used, um, for the first time, I wanted to try the Vegas May oh, for quite some time. So I went ahead and I picked up some last night. And, um... um they're okay for the most part. I'm okay with them, but I've had. They're yeah, alright. It took me a while to try to figure out the length of my eyelash. And that's one thing that you please do that before you pop, pop lashes on. For those who are the beginners, measure the lashes first on the band of your eyes. And I think that this one, I think, would probably a tad bit longer. And they already have automatically have the curve of your eye right on them. So they're a lot easier for you to be able to apply them to your face. So prime this face, color correct this face. I'm not going to color correct. I think I'm going to just go in with my highlight, not highlight color, but my concealer color, which is in the color, um, Warm Honey by LA Pro Girl. Because I'm going to do powder foundation today. And I don't have a lot of time. I take my damp beauty blender sponge. Now my eyes sometimes water. So the trick to do that, if your eyes water while after you apply your all of your makeup and all of that jazz and you find your eyes watering, it's because you press too hard on your eyes when you are putting either your concealer or whatever makeup that you place under your eye, you are pressing down on your eye and you are using a damp sponge. Now, I do use, I still use a damp sponge, reason being is because it's easier for me be, to be able to blend my products, but I go lightly. I don't press hard under my eye area for that very reason. And that's it. But back to 27, back to 2016, there are a lot of things that I wish I'd have done differently, but for the most part, I'm content because it's not like you can reverse. If I had a time traveling machine, I wouldn't travel back to this year. <laughs> I would travel back to, let me see, the year of, two thousand. no. I wish I can go back to like 
1950, no, excuse me, 1920, like maybe between 1925 to 1930. Because I'm obsessed with the fashion and the makeup and everything about the 1920s besides the segregation and the racism and all of that jazz and the selling of slaves and all of that. I think we stopped selling slaves by that time. We probably did. I gotta go back to my history books. Don't quote me. I ain't stupid now. I just said I ain't got my history books on me. But anyhow. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and set this board with some Ben Nye banana powder. And then we're gonna go in with my foundation. But I am from Virginia. And if you are from Virginia, you know that there is absolutely nothing to do in Virginia but see your family. And I'm getting ready to go back in a couple of weeks. Well, actually, week after next, I'm going home. And you guys, I miss my mom. I miss my nieces and nephew. Like, I have no children, but I am a seriously proud aunt. My babies are my everything. Like, they are my world. And I wouldn't trade my niece and nephews for nothing. Like, I couldn't have had better nieces and nephews. Straight up. Those are my babies for life. They are funny. They are smart. They are nothing like I thought they were going to be. Like, when I was growing up, and I didn't imagine my brother or my sister. You don't think about that stuff when you're growing up. But we talked about children and we talked about families and stuff like that. But we never thought our kids would be the way that they are. Especially my brother and my sister. My sister was the last one I would have thought had kids. My brother, on the other hand, I'm not going to say the last person. But my brother was like, I, wouldn't, I wasn't surprised. <laughs> I wasn't surprised. I was more excited than shocked and surprised. My sister, on the other hand, I was like a mixture of everything. I thought she was lying the first time she told me she was pregnant. I really did. Because she was like, Bob. That's my nickname, by the way, you guys, Bob. So if you ever see my niece or if you ever follow my Instagram or my Snapchat and she calls me Auntie Bob, that's because she calls me Bob. But long story on how that came about. Fix plus spray. Spray. This lash right here is like getting on my nerves for real. Is it up? Is it down? Cause I'm standing on the floor. Is it walk? The love as anxious. All right, I'm gonna go in with my contour palette by Black Radiance and I'm going to place this shade right here on my cheekbone area, contour. Every time I do this, I always gotta do that fishy face because that's how I'll be knowing the hollows of my cheeks. I really want to be able to encourage you all for, well, not for, but encourage you, period. Be encouraged. Stay prayed up. Fast. Pray. Get close to God. Because if you don't, if you are not a firm believer of faith and prayer, honey, or anything, I'm going to just say anything. I'm a firm believer of prayer because prayer works. Prayer, and I mean prayer works, like prayer works. And just because you feel like God is not listening to you, honey, God is listening to you. You just have to open up your eyes to see him. And when you do pray, know how to pray. There's a way that you're supposed to pray. And anytime I go into a prayer, I don't ask God for things. I pray and I thank God for what I already have. What he's already done. What he will do. Because God's power is no joke. Just when you think that he ain't doing something, he's, it's already done. 
I'm taking my uh, mineralized skin finish and deep dark by Mac and I'm gonna place this right into the hollows of my cheeks as well but um God shows up honey just when you think that but, mm, that's not what I'm saying I'm saying how to pray I go in and I'm like Lord I thank you already I acknowledge who he is. I worship him for who he is. And then I'll go in and I'll proceed to say, Lord, I don't ask him. I thank him for already doing it. Lord, I thank you for protecting my family. Lord, I thank you for giving me that promotion on my job. Lord, I thank you for being there for me when nobody else was. Things that he's already doing. He knows what you need. Just thank him for it. And have faith that he's already done it. Walk in that faith. And you will be just fine. If everybody try to, everyone always asks me, how do you stay positive? What is your secret? Why do you, why are you always happy? What, what do you do? And I'm just like, for one darling, I trust God for everything. I'm also taking this um, Romantic Rose by Milani, and I'm placing this right on my cheek area as well. Oh, I did go in with that Ben Nye Banana Powder just to clean up that contour line. I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to use Crown and Canopy by Wet n Wild, and we're going to highlight because I love to highlight. But back to what I was saying, asking God for what you need. God is amazing. And like I said, he already knows exactly, exactly what you need in your life. So don't be acting all crazy. And keep asking him for the same thing because you don't see it. You think you don't see it and it's already there. You just have to walk into it. It's yours. Receive it. Like, receive it. <laughs> Woo! I'm not going to put nothing on my bottom lash, but I am going to put some mascara on. Um, And this lip, I do have to put my hair on. I'm going to go in with my carbon. Um, mascara by L'Oreal and my waterproof mascara. This combination is bomb. I just pray that you guys are. I pray for this country because this election has had people acting all types of crazy. Thinking all types of crazy. And I just pray for hope. I am so hopeful. I am so optimistic. I always look at the good things before the bad. When any time a situation happens, I'm like, what are the positive things that come out of it? Because the moment that you dwell on the negative things, boy, uh, that's where stress comes from. And stress brings about wrinkles and um, black and crack boo -boo. And I'm not trying to be walking around looking like a grandma at 30 I mean I'm not 30 don't get twisted but still ain't nobody got time for that and guess what you guys about, about it I'm gonna go in with what color is this Moss? and no I'm gonna go in with natural uh, old Natural by Nick. I'm going to pop this all over the lips. I'm also going to go in with this color called Brown Honey. From the Ruby Kisses Macadamia.
And then I also go in with Stockholm, Stockholm by Wet and by NYX self lip pencil. I'm sorry, you guys. I really meant to say l soft lip creams by NYX, but anywho, that's a wrap. Bye. Bye.